You know how you can tell within about 30 seconds if a zombie movie is being done well or not? It doesn't even take that long to identify this one as a giant piece of shit. And to complicate matters further, even though this is clearly a zombie movie, everyone keeps referring to the creatures as vampires. Whatever. So there's some sort of plague virus, and these vampire zombies have a group of cliched people trapped inside the biggest hospital ever built. Seriously, they keep saying how they have to get to some security checkpoint before the generator gives out and the security doors lock them in permanently. Now, I've been in a few hospitals in my day, and even the biggest ones I could reach the furthest end and back in less than 15 minutes. They keep acting as if there are 2,000 floors in this place, and it's the width of Texas. And the only way to reach each floor is to walk through every square inch of the floor they're currently on in order to get to a stairwell that'll only get them to the very next level. Oh yeah, and the star of this film, Steven Seagal, is in this for about, mm, five minutes. It may seem like longer thanks to body doubles, voiceovers, and reused shots, but if you're paying attention, you'll realize that his screen time is extremely limited. And at first, I was happy about that. But when everything was said and done, I really wanted fat 60-year-old Steven Seagal fighting vampire zombies. A lot. To make matters even more annoying, the vampa zombies talk and give speeches about how they're better than us and they're the next stage of evolution. What's the point of running anymore? Open the door. This nightmare can stop right here, right now. One of us is going to get you. Think you've already given in. Us, we think, we talk, we plan. Come closer. I'll tell you a secret. Come closer. We've evolved. You people are just cattle to us. It's amusing, though, that they're this amazing next step in evolution, yet they can't use a napkin. Towards the end, this film becomes a can-they-get-out-before-the-military-drops-the-bomb-and-destroys-the-building thing, and quite frankly, I was hoping for everyone's total destruction. When you pick up the phone and dial, but you not answer when you call, dial 1-800, Steven Seagal. When you owe the gangsta money or you back against the wall, and you had no choice at all, call Steven Seagal, Steven Seagal, Steven Seagal. Who the man to make them gala spread them legs and fall? Who the man to bother wipe the brain off the wall? Him get vexed and disconnect your eyeball.